Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Here we go again with another review. Uh, today we're doing it on the Cuppet steamer. Um, I bought one of these steamers here about a year ago. Uh, I'm going to give you the goods and the bads about it. I got my unit sitting over on the table. I'll grab it in just a minute and show it to you. Uh, the good parts about it. Um, it's got a very long cord. Um, it came very quickly. It wasn't very expensive. I didn't spend, I don't think I spent $120 on it. Um, it comes with all accessories. It comes with a lot of things you can, that you can learn from. Um, things that you don't need to do that you shouldn't do with this machine is never, ever have a power on and unplug it and then plug back on the power. That'll shock it and mess it up. That's one of the things that, that you have to be careful with this machine. Make sure it's turned off and it's turned on when you use it. Um, power. Guys, when I say it, got, it, it gets hot, it gets very hot. Here about three weeks ago, I was uh, doing an uh, automobile and uh, I had some shorts on. And I dripped a couple of drips of that water out of this thing. And that water hit me, believe me, it blistered up pretty bad. It hurt me for about two days. So now I learned a valuable lesson about that, about not, you know, not being dangerous with this thing. Um, one of the things that, that you have to realize that when you get this machine, it takes about 15 minutes to really get going and, and 20 minutes at maximum ready to go about 20 minutes. First thing I do when I get out of my van is plug it up and get it ready because I know I'm gonna need it sometime during the day. So I'll plug it up and get it ready. Um, I sometimes I just sit to the side. If I don't need it all day, that's a good day for me. But I do plug it up first. That's the first thing I do because it takes a few minutes for it to get in. I want it to be good and hot. Um, it has a very long cord on there so you can, you can reach a lot of different stuff. Um, it comes with all kinds of attachments. I won't go through them because when you get your unit, if you buy one, You'll see that um, it comes with a um, with a filler cup, a filler cup, and a funnel that you pour your water down into. And I'll show you where that goes in just a minute. I'll show you the unit. Um, I can also say that it has it has a lot of a lot of power to it, even all the way down to the very end. I mean, even when it's starting to get a little bit low water, and it'll you'll let you know pretty quick when it's getting low water. Um, just remember that whenever you whenever you use it, and you run out of water. The pressure inside of that um, boiler is going to come all the way down before it'll come up. So you cannot open this machine up as soon as you want. As soon as you get through using it, open it up, try to fill it back up with water. It doesn't do that. It won't do that. You have to let it cool down. You do you have a choice because it won't open. It has a safety valve on that that won't allow it to open until after you do that. So that's one of the good things I like about a child come along. You you see them. They try to play with one day. They can't get it open. Period. So that's a good feature on them. Um, it has a lot of you like has a lot of different kinds of little tools and utensils and things. I've I've never really used everything on this. I'll use one like this little scrubber and um, just a tip. I've used those most of anything because I I use them for certain things. Um, one of the things that I that I do like is it has these big wheels on here, and and they and they if you need to pull it to you or something like that, the cord on there is really sturdy and handy. You can you can really you can rough it up a little bit. And it, it does. It, it'll take a little. It'll take a little bit of a beating, a little bit. I mean, you can't just beat it down, but it, it'll take a little bit of a beating. Um, good machine, good power. Um, now let's talk about the bad things about it. Uh, I'm gonna rate it right now, and I'm gonna say out of ten, I'm gonna give it a nine. And the reason why I'm giving it a nine is this is what it is. If you buy one of these uh, cuppets, uh, power steamers, and uh, mine is the model. EM21. Yeah, 201. EM201. That's that's just one I got right here. And mine quit working at one time. And I plugged up, it wouldn't work, and I know what's wrong with it. So we looked inside of it. Right there where the boiler is, there's a wire that sits on top. And the connector on it is very, very thin. Um I don't know why they put that on like that, but it's very thin. And it burnt away from the the unit and it wouldn't let me wouldn't let steam build up so i replaced it and then i put a bigger one on there and so uh, maybe a week later it started working in the next couple of days it did it again well it wasn't the same wire it was the one up underneath same thing the right there with the connector connects on to your boiler it just burned away from there so if this happens to you right now if you have one and it won't come on and the red light comes on but the green light won't light up open it up very carefully and look at your boilers. Look at all the wires around your boiler. One of those wires may have burnt loose. 
and it'll take you five minutes to fix it. That's the only problem I've had with this machine since I've been using it. I detail cars every day, all day long. This is what I do for a living, so I pay my bills. And hey, I'm telling you, it has stuck with me. If I, if this one wants to quit running in the next year or so, I would replace it with another one. That's just how much I like it. Um, good power, good everything. I like it. Um, I like it because I like the yellow. I like the yellow. I don't like those pinks and things like that. I like the yellow. This it just you know it just makes it easier to find, easier to see when I you know I got a lot of stuff on my U on my on my van out there, and I can spot it pretty quickly. Um, it's not very big. It don't take up a bunch of room and space. So for the power and, and for the words, you know, if it, it, you know, the capacity of water that it holds, you can get a lot of work done if you work smart. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of work if you work smart. What I do is I'll, I'll get all the stuff that I know is going to be very hard to get out, and I use it first for that. And then I just I just play it by ear after that when I because I it, it takes a few minutes. Once you empty it out, you can't get in it until after the, all the pressure is going out of that boiler. So be 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 mindful that you kind of have to wait a few minutes. It may take 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, for it to come come all the way down, and then you can open it, refill it, and reuse it again. Um, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not getting paid for this. They didn't ask me to do an advertisement for this. Um, good unit, I like it, and I, I recommend it. If you detail it more, if you detail cars more than one time a day, or you washing cars every day, this is a good unit to have. I mean, it's, it's really good unit to have. Um, I enjoy it, and I'm, I'm gonna continue to use it, and I, I stand behind it. Um, with that being said, guys, um, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy your day. I'm gonna go ahead on and show you the unit right quick. Let me turn my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And there it is. And I'm gonna show you these quick things right here that we're gonna get out of here. This is where you put your water on. And this right here locks up so you can take this off like that. But whenever it gets hot, you cannot take this off. It will not come off, it will just spin. So I'm just letting you know that this your red light and green light up here, your power on. This long, extra long cord here to help you get in the spots you need. This is the head I use lots of the time. I got a little scrubby head that goes on top of that that I use that goes on there. And like I said, whenever you, it's got this safety measures on here. If it's good to squeeze it, you know, I always put that on there. If you got kids around, you got to get it warmed up. I always put your safety on just in case, you know, you never know. But this piece here comes off. You got different, different connection comes on there. And uh, like I said, it's a great unit. I really enjoy using it. And uh, that's it for the, for the cuppet unit. Big wheels here, put your car back here and wrap it up. It's got everything you need right here. This hose does get a little warm, so watch it around your legs and stuff like that. It will get warm on you. But other than that, good unit, good unit. And I, I stand behind it. And I brought it in today because when I'm not detailing cars, like today it was raining in Texas, um, I bring it in, wipe it down, clean it off, and see if it needs anything done with it. And it's, you know, just wipe it down and clean it. I try to keep all my equipment clean as possible. You know, I got my small extractor in here today. I always got through cleaning and bleaching it out and getting it ready. You know, never, never know. You know, you don't want to put no more dirt in when you're trying to get dirt out. But with that being said, I got to put the camera back where we were. And uh, I just wanted to say, guys, hey, man, you know, that's what it is. You know, the, the cup it is a good machine. That's it right there. You know, and that's gonna, what you're going to get when no manuals. Got everything in here you need. going to show you all your stuff. And uh going to tell you everything you need about it. Good, you know, very clear to eat, read. Instruction gives you all your information, tell you everything you need to know. It's going to tell you about all your all your different attachments and things like that. It's going to show you all that, so you'll know you'll know exactly what you got when you get the unit. When you get the unit, you don't have to put anything together. Uh, I put I think I put the wheels on. I think I put the wheels on. I'm not for sure. I think I put the wheels on, and that was it. And it was ready to rock and roll. Okay. Hey guys, this is Joker from Joker Auto Detail Shop here in Texas. I'm gonna sign off. So everyone will keep it long. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to do another review, and we're going to bring you some more good information. My next review, guys, is going to be on some car soap. I don't know about this stuff, but we're going to use it this coming up week, and uh, yeah, we're going to see what it do. And I'll uh, be bringing that to you in the next week or so, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right? all right, guys, with that being said, see you guys later. Have a blessed day. Remember, hit subscribe, hit like in, in the comments down, comment down below. Tell me if you got one of these. Tell me what the things you like about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it. If you're trying to buy one, go to Amazon. They got them. Uh, I'll put 
the the name of it. Where you, here's the name of it right here. You can that's the name of it right there. That's the model number at the bottom down there. You can see that model number. That's when I got. And yeah, that's it. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get off of here and go watch a little TV and uh, get through doing what I'm doing and stuff like that and wash up some tiles and things. I got things to do today. But with that being said, appreciate you guys watching. There again, show your brother some love. Show Joker some love. Hit the like, subscribe, become a member. Hit the notification. So when I start doing this stuff, just in case you have something and you wanna know somebody before you start to buy it, you can find it out from me. All right, guys? God bless you. See you later.